Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously I have no makeup on and I wanted to do a video discussing winged eyeliner. And if you struggle with a winged eyeliner, I wanna show you an alternative. So for me, I probably never do winged eyeliner because of my eye shape. So if I totally relax, let me zoom in. If I totally relax my eyes, they're slightly downturned. And do you see how hooded they are? So majority of my lid gets covered. It goes back into that area. And then when my eyebrows are relaxed, like this kind of comes down. So that's just the natural shape of my eye. So I'm gonna show you what winged eyeliner looks like on this eye. And then I'm gonna show you my technique for what I do to get that elevated look without using winged eyeliner. And I also want to say, how many times have you been on Instagram where you see an eye look and you're like, oh my God, and it has like a gorgeous wing on the eye look and you're like, oh my God, that eye look is gorgeous. I love it, I wanna do it. Majority of the time, um, people don't even have their eyes open all the way in the pictures. They'll, they'll kind of like turn their head down and then they kind of like snap a picture you know what I mean? When in reality, when their eyes totally open, they probably don't even look like they do in that picture. There's so much editing, photoshopping, blurring, that all of those makeup photos, unfortunately, are always photoshopped. So the makeup you see in that picture, they probably don't even look like that in person. By the way, I will link my Instagram. I never photoshop or edit any of my photos. So if you go on my Instagram, that is actually how my makeup looks. I do not blur anything or, or I do nothing to my photos. So anyway, enough talking. I'm just going to use a liquid eyeliner. This is from Ico. I think this actually came in one of my birch boxes and I've been using this a lot. I started with no makeup because obviously I'm going to remove this eyeliner and there was no sense in me doing my face makeup. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So if I close my eye, I have like eyelash glue stuck to my eyeball. If I look in the mirror and close my eye. It looks like, oh, guys, I'm a hot mess. What's going on here? It looks like I have a nice lid space area. So I'm just gonna do a quick little wing. Okay, so we're like, oh, that looks great. All right, so. I got this shape and now I'm gonna link it. Oh my God, I think I had too much coffee today, so don't mind my atrocious application. Now, typically, if I were going to do winged eyeliner, even though I said I don't really do it, I would have eyelashes on and I would most likely have um, eyeshadow as well. All right, this isn't the neatest wing because this is just for like, okay, so you're probably like, oh, look at that. That looks wonderful, right? But now watch. That looks atrocious. Do you get what I'm saying? So when a lot of times when you put winged eyeliner on, you close your eye and you kind of like lift your eyebrows, right? See if you do that at home because I obviously do that because I want the skin to be taut. I don't want like ugh, wrinkles in it. But the minute I start relaxing my eye, it's like part of the wing disappears. Do you see that? And then it looks like we've got some random little, I don't even know what that is. And this skin comes down. So now... Do you see what I'm talking about, guys? Now you're probably like, oh my God, what's happening? Let me try and make it larger and more noticeable. Let me let me fix this so it doesn't look so weird. Watch what happens when you try and fix it. So I'm like, oh, let me make my wing a little bigger so it doesn't look like that. So next thing you know, your wing is gigantic. So then you're like, oh, but all we... <laughs> No, I'm transfer, but do you, do you get the point that I'm getting at? So like my eye shape, this all comes down. 
So it might look like we've got a nice little line, but then it somehow turns into this weird blob on the side of my face. Do you see what I'm talking about? I'm gonna leave that just for like um, comparison. And now let's go to my other eye and let me show you what you can do. Tape is my favorite technique. If you don't wanna stick tape on your face, you can always take something and lay it on your face as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and use some tape. So take some tape and I'm going to line it up from here to like my eyebrow. So now the wing, we have the shape. We are, we're obviously gonna be having an uplifted effect. So let me go in with some eyeshadow. With this type of thing, you have to do a full eyeshadow look. You can't just take eyeshadow because I think it would look funny. So if you want to still get that winged uplifted effect, use eyeshadows. So I'm going to try and do a quick look to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm in with that top middle shade necessary. And I'm going to buff that into my crease. Now, if you watch my videos, you've seen me do this technique a bunch of times. All right. So... You'll see, let me just put down this basic application and then you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go in with the dark brown in the palette, which is Cheens. So now I'm gonna put this in the crease and the outer corner. Now the reason why this looks better is because I'm bringing the eyeshadow up over this droop, okay? When you do the winged liner, you don't really bring the eyeliner up here. So then you're kind of left when you open it with whatever happens to the line, right? But over here, I see how my eyes starting to droop, but I still have this color up here. Whereas the winged eyeliner, you don't take up that far. You get what I'm saying? Of bringing it in this entire V area. Okay. I'm gonna kind of just blend it together. Got this shape, watch me pull it off. Boop. Oh. Can you guys see the difference? Like, I will do the rest of my facing, but look at the difference. This tech, this makes my eye smaller. It seems like it closes my eye off. But then this side, it's just more elevated. It's just makes the entire eye area just seem bigger and uplifted than this weird mangled side. Do you know what I mean, guys? All right, guys, so now that I have all my makeup on, I wanted to do a little recap of what I was talking about. So obviously now you can see my eyes, they just look so much bigger, they look larger, they don't look closed off with all that darkness covering the only lid space that I have. So again, as you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. Before, as we were trying to make it, because if you, do you see how like this triangle right in here, that's where you wanna put your eyeshadow, this entire area right here. So that when you open your eye, the eyeshadow is above your hooded crease, okay? And it's still giving us that little uplifted effect right there, okay? So try that technique if you're like, I'm just not liking, because even with this look, if I then was like, okay, let me put some winged eyeliner on, the same thing would happen to me. I would have like this eyeshadow up here, but then like this, 
would look like it did before where you saw nothing but black and it would look droopy and it just like messes up at least my whole look so if you've been trying to do winged eyeliner and it's just not looking good on you once you've applied it do this eyeshadow technique and let me know what you guys think comment down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up thanks bye